It is a very special commitment edition of the Venezia's Pizzeria Recruiting Roundup and one of the top linebackers out west in the entire country, Trey Reynolds, is ready to make his decision. Trey, thanks so much for joining us, and I'll let you take it away and let us know where you're headed. Uh, I'm committed to Utah. They're just a great coaching staff, great people over there, great atmosphere, and I'm really excited to get up there. When you look at what the Utes were able to do in the draft, uh, you know, just uh, last month where so many guys and so many guys on the defensive side of the ball get into the next level, how much of that played into your decision to choose the Utes? It just added on. I, I was really liking them already. It just added on to my uh, decision. They're just a great team that produce great athletes. Where does the, the coaching staff see you fitting in best in that defense? Inside linebacker. And uh, what have they talked about specific roles or, you know, what they like about your skill set where they think that'll translate nicely? They really like my uh, motor to the ball and my leadership. That's what they, that's what they like talking about me with. Uh, I just, man, I just, I'm just really excited to get up there and uh, I can't wait to be a part of that defense. And why make your commitment now? Because um, I just feel like it's the best time. There's no June, June uh, recruiting trips, you know, so. I just, I'm just trying to make my decision as best as fast as I can for uh, the season and to let them know that I'm committed to them. Now, what did you learn from some of those meetings virtually that really, uh, you know, kind of jumped out to you? Uh, they're just a bunch of great men, you know. That's the, like, they're the type of people I want to be around. They're just such a great guys over there, great coaches, know what they're talking about. And Utah, one of the most consistent programs in the Pac-12. You come from a high school program that's one of the most consistent in Arizona. Uh, what did the Queen Creek Bulldog community do to help you get to where you are? You know, the great our coaches are great. Um, they've really taught me and coached me well. They've been a huge part in this and helped me all along the process, all along the way. And you've been a multi-sport athlete. You've been a multi-positional guy for the football team playing. I've seen you play running back and quarterback and now transitioning to linebacker, playing all those uh, different positions, specifically on the off offensive side of the ball. How do you think that helped you as a linebacker? Oh, it, it's it's night and day. It's helping me so much. Quarterback, I, I can see reads and stuff that I would do as a quarterback. I can translate that over to linebacker, and it really helps me with my decision-making and what the offense is trying to make me do. So I, I really reverse those roles. And what's it been like coming up so far in – the Queen Creek 2021 class, you have you and Hunter Barth now going head-to-head -head in the Pac-12, and you have a couple other teammates that are getting heavily recruited. What's it like going through this process with so many of your friends and teammates in similar situations? Oh, it's great. I mean, we all, we all come together and uh, hang out and talk about it all the time. I'm really excited for Hunter and everyone else getting looked at. It's been really fun to um, talk to everyone and and uh, we'll, see, we'll see if we play against each other in the next few years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, what would that be like, going head-to-head -head against Hunter? I have no idea. He's really aggressive. We might, we might uh, bash heads a little bit in the game, but uh, after the game, we'll, we'll be friends. And you're going to be enrolling early. Just what went into that decision, and why did you think it was so important to get on campus for that spring ball session next year? That's like a whole other, like, six months. It's a whole, like, a... Uh, whole different time to practice and develop before the season starts. And it really gives me that advantage and getting comfortable with the coaches and schooling and everything before the season. You know, a couple of years down the road, when they say Trey Reynolds, you know, what do you want people to think of first when they hear your name? I just wanted to set an example to everyone, like everyone coming up and uh, all my teammates that I was a really hard worker. That's the biggest thing. And I really did everything right. Like I try to do everything right to the best of my ability. All right, Trey, we appreciate the time and the insight. Congratulations. Thank you. And this is Trey Reynolds, your newest Utah Ute, and this is the Venezia's Pizzeria Recruiting Roundup.